Welcome back. I am going to show you my last convention haul and we're just going to ignore the six month uh, break that I took. All right, let's get into the video. First on the chopping block is my Galactic Toys haul. Okay, let's start with uh, the wild little projects. I have Char, I have almost everyone. I'm missing Kai, Sayla, Lala, Bright, and Garma. Stick around on the channel if you want to see Nightmare Fuel because I think I'm going to start with our boy Char here and he's probably gonna look super wonky because I don't do people. <laughs> Come back if you wanna see this or if you wanna see these figures up close. Uh, I want the whole collection. So if you know where to find the rest of these, let me know so that I can complete my collection. Galactic Toys, shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are there every year at Momocon and the, the Gundam selection is crazy. Speaking of, I grabbed the Verka new after I did the anime ver of this, everyone was suggesting to go ahead and get this boy. A lot of people have already built him. The proportions on him are why I didn't get him in the first place. I like the anime ver, the chunkier, and honestly, that's the most solid suit that I have. It has metal pieces in the skirt and the shoulders, and I just don't think you can get any better than that. We are not about to say anything bad about Kojima, so Kojima. <laughs> I said Kojima. <laughs> Why did I say Kojima? I've been playing way too much Death Stranding. <laughs> Not to say anything bad about the Verkaz. I very much love Verkaz. For this particular suit, I just think I like the anime proportions better when it comes to the head size. That's it for Galactic Toys. I went ahead and got the entry grade. At the time, this wasn't in the States yet, so I was like, oh, there it is, and I bought it. Pretty big in size, and I think I would do something cool with this. So, have you guys built this yet? What do you think of it? Let me know. This was 100% an impulse buy purely from cuteness alone. Can we just talk about how freaking adorable this Rick Dom like, compartment head is? It is stupid hard to open, but it's literally just like a little container, and it has a little Rick Dom head, and at $30, this was probably not the best financial decision, but it's so cute. It's going on my desk. It will continue to provide happiness to me all the time. So I got this and I think it's cool. And then last but not least, I got, I love this booth so much. They have laser disc and vinyls of all kinds of anime and just, just everything. But in the corner there, they have a whole bunch of these old like Gundam Mobile Suit Illustrated from 89 and then like the Mobile Suit Encyclopedia from 98 and just the reference material just for having a Gundam channel is kind of a big deal. And honestly, I wanna look through it anyways. I'm gonna make videos scrolling through these guys so that you guys can see it because I think they're really fascinating. But literally this one covers regular Mobile Suit Gundam, Z Gundam, Double Zeta, Char's Counter Attack, War in the Pocket, F91, Stardust Memory, you get the picture. It basically has everything and they're in really, really good shape and I couldn't pass these up. Con seasons are an opportunity to be around people that we absolutely understand and they understand us. And I believe that is part of why when we go to a vendor hall, we go crazy, we go into credit card debt, and we don't tell our significant others or anyone in our family about how much money we spent. But if you guys had like a really cool haul or found some cool mobile suits at one of your like local cons, leave it down below, let me know. In my absence, I've been going back to film school, so be on the lookout for much more content. I'm trying to get a new camera and there should be a lot more, a lot more content coming out. I have missed you guys so, so, so much. We have so much to catch up on, not just with the kits that I've bought in the meantime, but we have so much Gundam news that it's literally insane. I feel like one of the big things is Witch from Mercury because we have our first female pro tag. Kind of awesome. I'm looking forward to cosplaying her and I can't wait to see what all we're gonna get. And also the other one I'm excited for is the SD Alliance video game. You guys all know I have a soft spot for SD Gundam, so I am so ready to play that game once it's finally out. But yes, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.